All right, hey guys, here we are back for hole number eight. Now, I'm kind of torn on this hole a little bit. Um, you know, when we're talking free to play guides here, uh, there's kind of two different ways that I can do this. One is with a berserker ball, and the other option is going to be a kingmaker ball. So, um, you know, the kingmaker, in my opinion, is just a little bit more prone to clip this tree. Another thing that you could do technically is you can go for a precision shot and try to roll it down the slope underneath the tree. Um, it's, it's a little bit better for the Thor's Hammer 6 or 7 with a lot of topspin to go that route. As you'll see, this will typically get called up um, too much and not make it down, to, down the hill. Now, as I mentioned, um, you know, I'm kind of torn as to do I go Kingmaker or do I go Berserker. And especially with the wind down, um, you know, probably going to try to do this. And we are going to just do something along the lines of full top spin. I always try to land very right. So you'll see that my aim is essentially set up to land kind of way over here towards the right edge of the fairway. And then just try to curl it around the tree. Uh, a little bit early on the timing. That may not, this may end up too far to the right. So let's just see if it makes it down. And as I mentioned, it's too far to the right because I great bought it to the right. I almost want a great bought to the left. Um, but this is going to be, you know, especially for my shot, that's going to be a very popular um, place. So it is something that you at least want to have some practice attempts from there in the event that come weekend time you do land there. As I mentioned, I almost knew it was going to end up there just from experience. Um, because as I mentioned, I wanted to favor a great ball left. I called a great ball right. I knew that, you know, when, when you set up to a line as far right to the, you know, there's not a lot of room for error on the right. Um, but if you great ball too far to the left, you're going to end up clipping that tree as well. So it is kind of really a precision shot where people don't realize, you know, you have one or two rings of where that winds up perfect, absolutely perfect without hitting the tree. And as you can see, I was very close to the rough. And I, I kind of almost knew that it could potentially clip the rough there um, at the top of that hill as well. So I was barely okay. So it is something that you at least want to be thinking about. I'm thinking somewhere along the lines of maybe 15 per ring with this shot. And we are going to just kind of 15 per ring, go just a little bit under a ring here. Eh, it's not going to matter. Didn't even catch a perfect ball. So you're going to see that it uh, slides off to the left. But, um, you know, hopefully you're able to get that and, you know, try to give it your best effort throughout the week and... Um, you know, as I mentioned, that is going to be kind of a popular spot for my shot. So it is something, you know, I definitely wanted to go over, um, you know, uh, about 15 per ring there, playing it off the fairway. It's going to be more or less what you're looking for and just going to come down to that perfect ball. So good luck with that hole, guys. Hopefully you're able to get that on the fairway for a nice end bringer pitch. But uh, good luck and I'll see you guys on the next one.